Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is the ninth day of Christmas. We are just doing some little home projects, cleaning up a little bit before we do our ninth day of Christmas activity, which is taking the kids out for dinner at Red Robin. My husband had the day off work today, so he's just working on the house a little bit. We've been remodeling our house for about three years now, and I've been wanting to put some built-in shelves right there for my espresso machine and coffee materials. I had my own to-do list, so while he was doing this built-in project, I was going through our youngest baby's closet. She's growing so fast, so I feel like I have to do this every other month or so just to keep things up to date and get rid of things that don't fit her anymore. So I like to pull everything out of her closet and just donate to a friend of ours who have a baby girl a little bit younger than her, stuff that's in good condition and then things that need to be thrown away, I toss. And then I do keep some stuff for any future babies that I'm just really attached to or really, really like. So if you don't know what a name day is, it's the day that you celebrate your name and the person who you're named after. Saint Emilia is my patron saint and I'm named after her. So I celebrate my name day on her feast day. Everyone kind of does name days differently depending on where you live, like the culture that you celebrate or that you're a part of. Um, our family kind of celebrates name days like a mini birthday. So we get a special treat for, you know, the kiddo on their name day that we share with everyone in the family. And we don't really do gifts or anything like that, but it's just kind of like a little mini celebration for that person's name day. Sometimes we will give them like something small, like if they need a new prayer rope or a small icon or something like that. But mostly the godparents give gifts to the kids on their name days. And then also, the way that you get your name is usually dependent on the day you were born. So if you were not Orthodox when you were born, you would get a new name at your baptism. But if you are a cradle Orthodox, that means that your name is usually picked um, on the day you were born. So let's say you were pregnant for nine months and you knew you were having a boy, but you didn't know what you wanted to name your baby. And then your baby was born on January 1st, the Feast of St. Basil. Then you would name your baby Basil. But that's kind of an old tradition and not everyone follows it. Sometimes they just pick names that they love and then they have their birthday and then a separate name day. I'm so excited. This project's finally at least temporarily done and I can put all my things on the shelf. We are going to tile this wall and backsplash sometime in the future and we're probably going to tile in between the shelves too in the back there behind where I'm putting all these things. So this is just temporary for now but at least it looks a lot better than having all this chaos on top of the counter.
here we are finally arriving at Red Robin for our dinner to celebrate Serafina and of course our activity for the ninth day of Christmas. Are you sure you don't want to try some What? <laughs> Is it good? Okay, hand me the other one. Baby. Happy name day, Serafina. Mm -hmm. 